guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Hope Taylor and I am a senior photographer serving both Charleston and Savannah. And this YouTube channel is where I share education for photographers as well as a little bit of a peek into my life living in the low country. In today's video, we are gonna be talking about a topic that I get asked about all the time. And we are talking about senior posing, but specifically, how the heck do you pose one person by themselves in the middle of an open field? open field has always been a trend in the senior photography world because you can create some beautiful images, especially at golden hour right at sunset, but it's a little bit tricky, especially if you're used to photographing families or engagement sessions or couples where you're posing an interaction between multiple people. That is far different than photographing one individual by themselves. So I'm going to be showing you clips from a real senior session in this video so that you get to watch an actual senior shoot and how we made this happen in real time. Before we dive into that though, I actually have a free gift for you down in the description. If you like this video today, then you are absolutely going to love the free shoot that we are giving you access to. You get a chance to watch a full free month of content inside of my Senior Scoop membership. The membership is my monthly membership where I release a new senior session every single month and almost 500 photographers get to see me photograph in real time and talk through my thought processes behind things like camera settings and lighting and composition and posing and family dynamics and all of the typical common things that you may run into at a senior session. You also get bonus videos like talking about spokesmodel teams and talking about client closets and email templates and editing and culling. You get so much content inside of the senior scoop, but it is $27 a month. However, just to say thank you for tuning into this YouTube video, you can get free content for one month at the link in the description down below. Specifically, you'll be watching Brooke's beautiful Charleston senior session from start to finish, and you're going to love it. So let's go ahead and cut to Lizzie's senior session. So this shoot was taken in the dead of winter in Northern Virginia. So it was not an ideal scenario. It was chilly. The grass was dead. The light was beautiful. And we were in the middle of an open field. So I'm going to get to show you exactly how I posed Lizzie to create beautiful portraits in the middle of nowhere. Okay, I, if you're cool with it, I'm gonna have you sit again. Yeah. Um, but I'm gonna have you sit, let's see here, kind of like in this vicinity okay. so that I can shoot through some of this grass and it feels like you're in the middle of a big old pretty field. That was a great question. I'm just gonna ignore that. <laughs> it just, that's like the fifth time I give up today. Um, let's do, um, let's do crisscross applesauce right there. Okay, I'm gonna do, 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 finagle this. Oh, I love this. Okay, so I'm gonna have you do <laughs> the wind. Um, do your hands kind of tucked in and resting on this knee. So you can kind of rest, yeah, ooh, so good. Okay, I'm just gonna adjust a couple settings since we just moved. Okay, so in an open field like this, like I mentioned, this was the dead of winter. So the downside is that a lot of the grass in this field is dead. Typically, the grass is always this pretty kind of waist-high, tall, golden grass, but that was not the case. However, my goal was that I wanted to photograph Lizzie as if she was in that open field of waist-high grass. So what I did was intentionally place her behind a patch of that taller grass and use that grass as foreground. When I'm shooting in an open field from opposing perspective, I'm always thinking about how I can get my client as close as possible to the actual texture and create that beautiful composition with foreground and background. So I wanna get her closer to the ground by having her sit. I'm gonna have her start with crisscross applesauce because I like to start with the simpler poses to help build Lizzie's confidence. And then you're gonna see me move in closer and closer and changing to more advanced poses. Poses. I'm starting with crisscross applesauce. We'll start with her hands in front, kind of tilting to one side. And then I love having her lean over one knee and resting a hand on her knee to create some flattering up close portraits. Oh my gosh, this is going to be gorgeous. Love, love, love. So good. And then just smiling here towards me too. Love that. Oh my gosh, these are stunning. Perfect. And then let's do soft smile one more time. So go ahead and just drop those eyes down towards that shoulder. Yep and then pop them right here towards me. Beautiful, I'm moving around this like grass as it moves with the wind, perfect. Oh, I love it, gorgeous. And then I'm gonna come a little closer. Doo -doo -doo. 
I'm probably gonna like step on a snake as I'm just crawling through the ground. <laughs> and do that one more time. Yep, just those hands tucked there, perfect. Oh, I love this. Hold it right here. Beautiful. Oh, perfect, got exactly what I wanted. When we're doing a session in the fall or winter and my clients are wearing a cozy sweater, one of my favorite things to do with posing is have them pull that sweater halfway over their hands to create a really cozy feeling natural portrait. So that's what I've been doing with Lizzie for a lot of these poses. Um, and then I'm gonna have you, let's do, um, kind of switched over to your butt like this, and then let's do um, that knee tucked in one more time, but kind of like this, if we can. Like real cozied up, yeah, and kind of a hand in your hair like this. Yep, perfect. You're making this so easy. I was telling Josh in the car, I was like, she's literally made this like breeze by because we've gotten so many good photos already. Oh, this is perfect. And then eyes down towards that shoulder, we'll do the tiniest slug, soft smile. I can see, yep, just like that. I can see the tiniest bit of your sock on the other leg, actually. There you go, perfect. You're warm and cozy and that is all that matters. I love it. <laughs> perfect, oh, love this. I mean, just, just two things and eyes right here towards me. Beautiful. And then just laughing here towards me. Perfect. Okay. We're going to jump up because there's like a patch of glowy light happening behind you that I think we need in our lives. Um, let's come right. I'm going to have you like right in front of me right here in that pretty glow. Oh, hello. Standing. Yeah. Just like that is perfect. Um, you have a tiniest little leaf on you <laughs> since I'm just throwing you around in the ground. Is the dog. Okay. Yeah. The dog's gone. I was like, before I have you sit back down and make sure the dog's not going to maul you again. Um, okay, and then let's do uh, ankles crossed, and then let's do just like cozy hands um, in your sweater, and just kind of like cozy it up right here next to you. Yeah, oh, I love that. And then let's do eyes over that way. I'm just gonna adjust my settings really quick. Oh, actually, I don't need to. The light's so good. Hold on, let me. Do, 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 do. Beautiful. And then eyes right here towards me. Perfect. Ooh, girl, these are so good. And then let's cozy those hands up next to you. I'm gonna come in for some close-ups because the glow in your hair right now is doing great things. And then go ahead and actually kind of bring it so it rests just really softly on your face. Yep. And then eyes just straight down for me. We're gonna do no smile for a couple. Beautiful. Oop, hold on. <laughs> we'll let that have a second. Because this reflector is gonna go flying again. I put us back in a wind tunnel. Hope, come on. Pick better locations. Okay, maybe. I'm so sorry about your eyeballs. I know when mine, when mine do that, it hurts. It's like I can't control it. No, like, mm -mm. I can feel it coming on, and I'm like, oh gosh, stop, stop. <laughs> yeah, no, mine will cry all my makeup off. Your makeup doesn't look like it's phased, so you look great. Um, drop this eye straight down for me. We're gonna do no smile for one. I'm gonna like set, situate myself. Okay, pop those eyes right here. Beautiful, and chin up the tiniest bit, and then tilted that way. Yes, and then part those lips a little. Beautiful, and then just laughing here towards me. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. Oh my gosh, I couldn't be more obsessed if I tried. Okay, I'm gonna actually sit this by your feet and I'm gonna okay. have you just kind of stand on it yeah. so that it doesn't blow away. But I'm gonna have you turn to this side and we're gonna frame your face with your arms. I think this is on your Pinterest board. Yeah, love this pose. And you're gonna just kind of rest them here and then you're gonna drop your shoulder kind of towards me. Ooh, you got it. I didn't even have to, yeah, perfect. You got this down. Um, and then eyes down towards that shoulder. I'll tell you when to pop them here. This pose is one of my all-time favorites for senior sessions. I love framing my client's face and creating those beautiful leading lines from a composition perspective that allow for her face to be the really main focus here. You can see I dropped my reflector down on the ground. The reason for that is I'm using an 85 millimeter lens. So if I was holding the reflector, I would have to back up so far in order to get the framing right with my 85 lens that the reflector really wouldn't be working. It wouldn't be actually bouncing any light back onto her face. So instead, one of my tricks is to tuck it under her boot or her shoe so that it is still bouncing light on her face and I can back up wide enough to get the composition that I am looking for. I always save an open field like this for the very last location at a senior session so that we can get that stunning golden glowy light that's really low behind the trees. That is the main reason that we're able to shoot in this field without having aggressive haze or too high of contrast with our lighting. And eyes right here towards me. Chin up the tiniest bit and tilted this way, the tiniest bit. Perfect. And up the tiniest bit more. Yep, right there. And then go ahead and part those lips a little bit. Gorgeous. And then just laughing here towards me. Cute. Oh, I love it. 
These are so good. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more content like this or watch Lizzie's entire senior session, you can do that inside of the Senior Scoop membership. And as I mentioned, there's a link in the description to get free access to one month of content and watch Brooke's beautiful Charleston senior session. So be sure to snag that in the description down below. We'd also be so grateful to have you subscribe. I share new videos every single week and I'd be so honored to have you here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.